Say, Father. Father. One more time. Say, Father. Father. I decree and I declare that in the name of Jesus answers to every issue of concern I receive now go ahead and pray answers health answers destiny answers marital answers fruitfulness answers someone is praying in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I receive answers. I receive answers. I receive answers. I receive answers. I receive answers in the name of Jesus. I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up exalted I receive I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up Glorify, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. Breathe, Lord, breathe, 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 Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. Go ahead and pray. Say, breathe. And your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest. Hallelujah. We are going to do a very quick one right now. There are three areas of focus tonight. Number one, prophesying liberty for the various aspects of our lives. Number two, ministering deliverance to people who are oppressed. Because most of the issues you call prayer requests, the truth is that they are signifying the presence of spirits that may be operating for some on legal basis. This is where the ministry of the blood comes, that the blood sustains the unique ability to bring a separation. And you will find out that with that separation, many requests to be answered in a moment. And then I want to take a few minutes and pray for the sick. Those of you who are sick or came with sick loved ones, make sure you release your heart, your faith to be healed right now. Hopefully we'll have the time and in a few minutes, uh, now because we're hurrying up, the moment you have a testimony, I'm going to ask you to walk out very quickly. Some of you who have already received will take a few testimonies and then will enter the stage of prophetic words. That declaration is important to me because that is how many of you will return with testimonies. Not everybody is sick. Not everybody may be oppressed or have any kind of demonic influence of all sorts. But I can be sure that everybody is tired of their current level and that they want to scale heights in the spirit and in destiny. Hallelujah.
praise the name of the Lord. Now, I want to pray for those who have experienced all kinds of satanic issues. My Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Many sicknesses are connected to spirits. It is true. There are many demonic influences plaguing families. Now, I'm going to pray and it's going to be, I will ask you in our manner here to shout the name Jesus and when I do with humility of heart and the fullness of faith I'd like you to obey that prophetic instruction and very quickly I'd like you to bring out those who will be under the anointing now the ushers are limited please do me a favor if someone maybe you are especially you're a worker those under the anointing when I ask you to bring them out if there's someone under the anointing close to you just help to bring them out you don't have to wait for the ushers they are limited there are literally tens of thousands of people all over and there's so much they can do. Father, in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, here at this miracle service, you gave us authority and you gave us power over snakes, scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy. You gave us authority over witchcrafts, altars and every kind of Satan manifestation father there are lives here there are destinies here that have been under the siege of darkness as individuals as families as businesses plaguing their health their finances and various aspects of their lives this is why your people came and Lord I pray right now that as your people shout that name that is above every other name every spirit that has tied down lives that has tied down destinies it is time for you to give way ladies and gentlemen at the count of three I want you to shout that name that is above every other name that name that defeated sin Satan hell and the grave and as you shout it let every spirit that is not the Holy Spirit of God it will clear the way and it will release your destiny now and then not just very quickly please bring those under the anointing are you ready now thank you Jesus one my God I sense a strong anointing two three shout Jesus help them please release every destiny now every destiny bow be released now outside inside yokes of darkness curses let God's people go now in the name of Jesus hallelujah my God we're still praying in the name of Jesus I'm seeing hands tied I've seen this many times every hand that has been tied right now I decree and declare let the let the fire of the Holy Ghost bring a separation now 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 the spirit of delay whose destiny has been delayed here whose destiny is not rising here I'm seeing fire falling father let the altar of delay right now at the count of three let it be broken one two three break now break now destiny delay be broken now be broken now. Be broken now. Habalaga bakata bakata kapa. Krateke pareke takusiata. I'm seeing a veil, a veil, a covering, stopping your glory from being seen. In the name of Jesus, I don't know who that person is. I stretch my parakatos. Help that lady, my God. In the name of Jesus. That veil that has covered your glory, I tear off that veil now. I tear off that veil now. I tear off that veil now. Oh, oh, oh. outside 
there is something God wants to do to those outside. Those outside, I want you to lift your hands. I stretch my hands right now in the name that is above all names. Those at the overflow outside, at the count of three, those outside, I want you to shout Jesus. I'm seeing altars on fire and the Lord is telling me that these are altars of untimely death sitting on the destinies of people. Some of you have lost your loved ones. I don't know why God is speaking to me about those outside. Right now I decree and declare outside at the count of three. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Break now, break now, break now, break now. The spirits of untimely death, you are under arrest by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Release them now. Everyone appointed unto death. I release you now. I release you now. I release you now. Shame and disfavor. In the name of Jesus. To a point where people avoid you like a plague. Because it's as if you are carrying bad luck. They whisper to one another and say, don't come near this person. The last time I came, I went down. I pray for you. Every negative mark upon your head that makes people to reject you. In the name of Jesus, I wipe it out tonight. 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 Hallelujah. Now, I'm seeing the Lord heal someone right now. I'm soon to begin to pray for the, the sick. This person, you had fibroid years ago. You went to the hospital and they operated you and is regrowing back again. This is a spiritual thing. I'm praying right now. This is what I see in my vision. I don't know who that person is. By the power, paracata siketea, sanit separantas kaba, skabaraka toska pregata. That devil manifesting as fibroid, it dies now. It dies now. It dies now. Praise Adonai. From the rising of the sun to the end of every day, praise Adonai. All the nations of the earth, all the angels and the saints, sing praise Adonai. From the rising of the sun to the end of every day. One more time. Praise Adonai from the rising of the sun to the end of every day. Praise Adonai. All the nations of the earth. is in front here and those who have come out in the various overflows I speak to every spirit that has tied you down in the name of he who died and rose again this is koinonia a house that God has helped and I declare at the count of three you lose your hold on them and everything you have taken from their lives let there be a restoration at the count of three one two three go now go now Go now, never to return. Go now, never to remain. Go now, never to return. Their bodies are the temples of the Holy Spirit. Their destinies are immune, fortified by the blood. In the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, 
Hallelujah. I want to pray for the sick. Just be silent. I want you to listen to me. I'm seeing something that looks like a white towel. And I'm seeing it being laid on the heads of people. Not everybody. These are specific people it is being laid upon. And I'm wondering what is wrong. And the Lord is telling me that there are destinies that have cried. There are families that have cried and he's coming in as a bam in Gilead. This is not just bodily sickness. I'm seeing this being laid on people right now. Father, I'm at least with what I'm seeing, it should not be less than 12 or 13. I stretch my hands. Lord, I don't know who this, this cloth, I'm sure is a sign of succor that is coming on a bleeding and a weeping family or a man of God. I stretch my hands now in the name of Jesus as I have seen in the spirit in truth let it rest on your head. In truth let it rest on your head. And by this prophetic mystery every and all weeping comes to an end now. Hallelujah. Turn my life around. Turn my life around tonight. Turn my ministry around. Turn my family around. Is someone praying? Turn things around. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to be very fast. I minister by the Spirit. And the goal is for God to solve people's problems. And deal with all the issues that are not of God. Praise the Lord. It will be very, very fast. I am not sure I may have the time to prophesy tonight. Because I want us to finish very fast. Our time is gone. But let your heart be open. There is a God in heaven. Please don't be used to your situation. If you are a visitor here and you came, come insisting that I did not leave where I left to be here only to return back with stories. Uh-uh. That is not the God that we serve. Are we together? Hallelujah. There are three people. The power of God is coming on outside. Overflow one. Please, I'd like you to bring them out here. Please, let's start very quickly. We are going to pray. Three people. The power of God is coming upon them right now. Three people, the power of God is coming upon them right now. A very strong anointing. Please bring them very quickly and then and then we'll pray. And then we'll pray. When you have them, please bring them very quickly. The Lord is already moving. Listen, let me tell you the truth. I want you to believe, believe that God will step in and turn your life around. Hallelujah. Turn your life around. From the back, right to the center. I'm seeing the power of God come on someone now. From the back, right to the center. From the back, right to the center. Please bring them out right now. Now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. There is liberty. An end comes to every oppression. An end comes to every oppression. An end comes to every oppression. An angel of the Lord is still standing here. I'm still seeing this road. Right now it's like smoke. Just moving across. Right now from the top to the back. Please bring them out. An end comes. God is stepping in to locate people by His Spirit. Remember the Bible says, Now the Lord is that Spirit. And it says, Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I command every oppression of darkness. I want to pray now. I see fire in this place. This is what I'm saying. By the Spirit of the... And listen. 
at the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. That every spirit that is other than the spirit of the Christ, responsible for any challenge and any predicament, it must let you go now. Inside and outside, online. Are you ready? Father, let there be deliverance right now. One, two, three. Shout Jesus. Jesus. I cut every power. Bring them out right now. Every oppression of darkness. It must go now. It must go now. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yahweh. Yahweh. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Please bring them out quickly. I'm still praying. The Lord is showing me a vision of a padlock in the spirit. I'm seeing a padlock. And I'm seeing what looks like a key. About to open it. At the count of three again. You're going to shout that name. I see opening, opening. Doors that have been closed. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Be open now. Every closed door. Be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Closed doors over families. Closed doors over ministries. Closed doors over destinies. I decree and declare. Be open. Be open now. Bring them out, please. Be open now. Be open now. Be open now. In the name of Jesus. Overflow one, two, three. Across the road. Online. Be free now. Hallelujah. I'm seeing I'm seeing like stones in a vision. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm seeing like a strange fire. These are representations of altars. Listen. There are families that have been covenanted to all kinds of ordinances. Fire is about to come from heaven right now. In the name of Jesus, you are ready to shout now. Father, every family here that is under any kind of ordinance, I come tonight with the rod of a higher priesthood. At the count of three, let fire from heaven liberate that family right now. One, two, three. Be free right now. Be free right now. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus. We blot out handwriting. We blot out handwriting. Bring them out. I cut all tasks. Yokes of darkness. Ordinances. Speaking against the people of God. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yahweh. Hey. Oh yeah, yeah, say. Oh yeah, yeah, 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 Yahweh. Oh yeah, yeah, say. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing the hand of God go to the eastern state. The eastern state. Right now, God is bringing deliverance. The east, Abia, Anambra state, Enugu state, Epoi state. I'm seeing an anointing right now. Rest on people within that state. Let there be liberty right now. Let there be liberty right now. You belong to that state. The power of God is coming upon you. Right now. Right now. Even the lawful captives 
shall be delivered. It's a sign and a wonder how God does it. I'm seeing the map. The east, God is bringing liberty. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me the map again. I'm seeing an arrow. And I'm seeing it go to Benway. Benway State. Right now I stretch my hands. Benway, Benway. That anointing you are from that state. Any ordinance tying your destiny must let you go right now. Must let you go right now. This is by the authority of the kingdom. Benway State. Benway State. Liberation right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Release their destinies right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm seeing fire just within this circumference in front. There are two families God wants to set free right now within this circumference. I'm seeing fire coming upon them right now. Bring them out right now by the Spirit of grace. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Things must change in your life. My friend, this young man, lift your hands where you are. There is oil being poured on your head right now. Right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is removing something that looks like an arrow from your head. Let it go right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let him go now. Oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. Now we receive. Hallelujah. Fire is still falling here. I'm seeing this deliverance is especially for women. An entity comes to molest you in the night. You go to bed and a strange spirit just comes. Right now in the name of Jesus, the Lord is asking me to just count two. And at the count of two, that fire is coming on people right now. One, two, let that fire come now. Liberation from ordinances of darkness. Every stranger that comes to manipulate your destiny. Be free now. All those in front here, I decree. The power that holds you. I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. At the count of three, let them go now. One, two, three, go. Leave them now. Release their destinies. Right now. Let there be restoration. Everything that has been stolen from hell, I command a restoration by the Spirit of the living God, by the Spirit of grace. The Bible says, now the Lord is that Spirit. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Be free right now. Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Everything that must leave your life, insist it must leave your life now. The angel of the Lord is removing arrows. I'm seeing arrows, arrows coming out of people. That's what I'm seeing. Arrows, arrows, arrows. Arrows, right now, right here, arrows, arrows, go now. Arrows are being removed out of people. In the name of Jesus, Madam, be free right now. Be set free now. The Lord is setting someone free here, right now. Someone in this room, I'm seeing fire. Just resting on someone, be free right now. In the name of Jesus, everything that has held you bound, be free right now. Be free right now. Be free right now. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus.
Be free right now. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Those outside, keep praying. Something is resting upon you right now. The Lord asked me to come to overflow one. I want to pray for you. There is an anointing right now. I stretch my hands. Fire from the front to the back. Everyone under any kind of yoke. Right now, as I'm passing, be free. Be free. Help them, please. Out. Now. Release their destinies. Release their destinies now. Please help them. Whether you are an usher or not, help them. That yoke must let you go now. That yoke must let you go now. I'm passing this road right now. Once I pass you, the anointing of the Holy Ghost is taking everything that is not of God. Release them now. Release their destinies now. Release their destinies now. Let that fire rest upon you right now. Everything that has refused to open, be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Close doors. Be open now. Be open now. Now listen, overflow two. I may not touch you, but in the name of Jesus, I pass your role. Except God is not God. If there is anything sitting on your destiny, it must let you go. Right now, be free. Be free. I bring you the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Be free now. Open up your gates. Your gates. Gates be open. Destiny be open now. Be open in the name of Jesus. Be open now in the name of Jesus. Be open in the name of Jesus. Be open in the name of Jesus. Fire is resting on this road. Just right here. I'm seeing someone, the oppression of your family is coming to an end right now. I stand by this grace. Anyone here, anything that is not of God sitting on your destiny, right now at the count of three, all of you, just... I'm seeing fire right now. And I'm seeing chains broken from people's legs. Right now, be, be set free now. Be set free now. Be set free now. Be set free now. There is a lady here. God is saying it is over. Right now, I'm seeing an anointing liberating a lady's family right now. Help them, please. Whether you are an usher or not, please, if anybody is falling close to you so they don't injure themselves. Hallelujah. Please shift. That lady, be free now. I'm pointing my hands to her. I command that devil to leave your family and your destiny now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to pray. Begin to pray, overflow three. Pray. Pray, overflow three. Something is about to release your destiny now. Something is about to release your destiny now. Something is about to release your destiny now. Overflow three, I came with an anointing. At the count of three, shout Jesus. Fire is falling from the top to the bottom. One, two, three. Go, go, go now. Every yoke, every altar. Be free now. Bring them out. Whether you are an usher or not, bring them out. Every oppression of darkness, right to the back. I declare by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Be free now. Be free now. Bring them out. I've seen all kinds of spirits. I command every spirit that is not of the Christ. Release God's people right now. At the count of three. I'm seeing fire resting on people. And I'm seeing a number of 41. 41 people. At the count of three, shout Jesus. Are you ready? One, two, three, shout Jesus. Right now, be free by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Be free right now. Every door that has refused to open. I open that door right now in the name of Jesus Christ.
Aleluya. There are 27 people here. The grace for speed is coming upon them. I don't know who you are, but right now, the grace for speed. I stand by the anointing from the front to the back. Right now, in the name of Jesus, receive that anointing right now. Speed, I release speed over your life, over your destiny. Receive speed in the name of Jesus. Speed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Overflow 3, hear me. There are people here, the Lord is telling me, no one rises in your family. When they get to a level, something brings them down. And the Lord is saying, I should shift you by prophecy. I stand right now, I don't know where they are, but the anointing of the Holy Ghost is going to come upon you. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I'm seeing the number 17. Lord, I don't know where they are here, but in the name of Jesus, I declare, move to the next level right now. I shift you to the next level right now. I shift you to the next level right now. Hallelujah. I'm looking at 14 people here. You have the call of God upon your life. And right now, the anointing of the Holy Ghost is going to locate you. 14 people. Lord, where are they? I stretch my hands right now. Apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, Deborah. Lord, where are they? Let that man to locate you now. The call of destiny that is upon you. Oh, prophet of God, may that fire find you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There are 15 people here. Overflow 3. The spirit of revelation is coming on you. Unusual insight. I don't know where they are. But right now I'm seeing light. Not fire. Light. Light coming on people. 15 people. Step into a new dimension of the revelatory grace. Right now in the name of Jesus. Now we Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Men auditorium, please lift your hands. Men auditorium, lift your hands. I'm seeing seven people. Men auditorium, lift your hands. I'm seeing seven people. The grace for speed. I will pray it on everybody. But the main auditorium, there is a grace for unusual speed on seven people. They will begin to run by the anointing right now. Please hold them so they don't injure themselves. Main auditorium, I stretch my hands. At the count of three, like Elijah, may that grace come. One, two, three. Receive that grace right now. In the main auditorium, step into the anointing for speed. In the name of Jesus. Overflow three, lift your hands. Every door that has refused to open over your ministry, over your life, held down by witchcraft, in the name that is above all names, at the count of three, I'm seeing doors open in the spirit. One, two, three, let that door be open now. Be open now. Be open now. The Lord wants to avert death over a family. This year alone, between last year and this year, four people have died in your family. Four people have died. And in the name of Jesus Christ, an anointing is coming upon you right now. Let death be averted now in the name of Jesus. Now listen, all of you at Overflow 3, and the extension there, whatever must leave your life, as I'm passing this place, please, I, I'm releasing my faith. 
open your mouth now and declare lord it must live my life now go ahead go ahead pray please all those in front here the spirit that ties your destiny i command at the count of three let them go now one two three go 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 out of their lives out of their destinies Make sure you are praying. Make sure you are praying. The power of God is resting on someone here. There's an anointing coming on someone right here. In the name of Jesus. There's an anointing coming on someone here. And the Lord is saying it comes to an end. That family crisis comes to an end. The power of God is resting on someone by my left here. Right now receive that anointing. Let it go in Jesus name. Be free right now in Jesus' name. The power of God is resting on someone here. Right here, I'm seeing an anointing. Right now. It's a prophetic grace. There's someone here, a prophetic grace is coming upon you. Right now, by my left here. In the name of Jesus, drink of that anointing. Drink of that fountain. May that grace rest upon your life. Right now, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Lord says it is over over right now by the power of the holy spirit look at me my friend the lord is taking you to a height and a dimension in the spirit i lay my hands on you drink of that grace in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ hallelujah i'm seeing what looks like smoke just this region where i'm where you're looking at me right now there are four people i'm seeing the power of god like a wind just coming on them just this road right now lord where are they I stretch my hands right now right now the power of the holy ghost is coming on those people and the lord is saying it is over he's taking away captivity four of you by the spirit of grace let it be over right now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus there is a family here marriage does not happen in that family but i'm seeing fire rest right now the embargo is being broken now. The embargo is being broken. Whoever those people are, an anointing is coming on you now. For the sake of your family, that yoke of marital delay is breaking right now. It's breaking right now. In the name of Jesus, please lift your voice and pray. Everybody, pray in the Spirit. Pray in the Spirit. There is one of you among those standing here. There is a call of God upon your life. An anointing is coming upon you. You will be mightily used by God. Where is that person? Spirit of the living God. The hand of God just near the gate here. The power of God is coming upon that person right now. A new dimension in the spirit. The eyes that see and the ears that hear. May you step into that level in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. My friend. Touch this gentleman for me. Lift your hands. I stretch my hands over you. I command, I'm seeing chains all over your body. I command those chains to give way now. In the name of Jesus, release him now. Let him go now by the power of the Holy Ghost. I cut those chains. I'm seeing chains from your head to your toe. Let me pray for those here. Please, all of you right here. I'm, the Lord is opening my eyes and from here to the fence. I'm seeing snakes. And I'm seeing five people. There is a major deliverance that is coming for a family right now. In the name of Jesus, may the anointing of the Holy Spirit locate those ones now. Five of you, right now. These spirits, my God, my God, I'm seeing something living right now. Release them now. Release, no matter how long, release them now. It is written that even the lawful captive shall be delivered. I declare emancipation now by the Spirit of the living God. You are a gala. I want to pray for you. Are you alone? If you came here alone, what do you do? I want to pray for you. The spirit of death is upon you. And the Lord is saying I should pray for you. So that those dreams you used to have, seeing dead people, is that true? You have dreams and... The Lord is saying that you are going to be free from it right now. I declare in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy 
in the there is there is someone here Hi. academic delay over your family is breaking right now i drop please don't be carried away acting this thing i shunnedly to help full experience god i'm praying i don't know where that family is but now scattered in this congregation i stretch my hands let the anointing of the holy spirit family right now i'm seeing a family here none of you has a job none of you there are even a few graduates but nobody at all it's like the doors of jobs don't open right now you are going to sense fire come up your hands real physical fire and the lord is saying by that help them by that that embargo is broken lord i i declare right now let the anointing of the holy spirit rest upon those people and bring emancipation everyone lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit please begin to pray in the spirit don't say you are not inside god can locate you from any direction god can locate you from any direction bring me this lady please in the name of jesus christ delay ends in your life i stretch my hands and i pray delay help her the lord is taking away witchcraft from this family i command that devil go now see it doesn't matter whether you are inside or outside just release your faith in the name of jesus be free right now be free right now my friend the call of god is upon your life there is that is coming upon you say healing anointing i stretch my hands may that grace begin to work effectually now step into that grace in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now listen among all of you from here to here the grace for speed is coming on two people listen those two people will start running now please hold them hold them so they don't enjoy themselves that anointing right now all across two people. you can't control yourself hold them please whether you are an usher or I release that grace. Speed. Two people. Strange speed. God is ending delay right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing two of you. A prophetic anointing. You are not prophets. But you have been desiring this grace. The grace to see. From here. Right to where that lady with the veil is. I don't know where they are but I stretch my hands. May that anointing find you right now. Accuracy of sight and fight. Help them, help them please. Help them please. In the name of Jesus Christ. Name of Jesus Christ. Name of Jesus Christ. An angel of the Lord is taking away reproach. There is a family here. The Lord is saying the captivity ends now. An anointing is coming upon you right now. It's now. In the name of Jesus. Someone here, is it your sister, has been trusting God for the fruit of the womb? Who is that? Listen, where, where is she? At home. What of you? Come. How long? Who has had three miscarriages? Three miscarriages. Go and tell her she will have a baby girl. That the Lord is giving her a baby girl. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you both. In the name of Jesus, let it come to an end right now. Let that captivity come to an end. In the name of Jesus, there's someone here, your family has a court case. Court case, who is that please? Court case. Don't, make sure you don't tell us, please. They want to kill you because of what? What did you do? What did you do? Hold on, I have to... Where are you from? Where is that? I have to pray for you. You have bad friends. Hold on. Let me talk to you. Eh? You have very bad friends. Bad friends. You need to be delivered. This is not even your whole life. Eh? You know what I'm saying, right? You need to repent. Eh? Listen. 
when I make an altar call, run and come. Because the real salvation is you. It's not the issue of court case of this. You, you have friends that are criminals. And we have to pray. You hear what I'm saying? God is locating you to help you. Listen, let me tell you, my dear people. I mean, when God locates us like this, is because He wants to help you. There's somebody here. Your name is Sarah. Where is that person? Sarah. Hold on, please. Don't, don't. Let me just prophesy. I, I, my heart is full. God wants to visit people. Stand up. Who is Sarah? Where are you from? Huh? Where are you from? No, no. Where's state of origin? I want to pray for you. Who is Godia? Yeah. Godia. The Lord wants to visit you right now. Acting God truly wants to change your life. Yeah? I want to pray for you. Whose mother is in the hospital? I'm seeing someone's mother lying down in the hospital. Yeah. Your mom? But come. I'm seeing lying down in Port Harcourt. Port, uh, yes, like Port Harcourt. You came from Port Harcourt. Go on. I'm going to pray for you. Do I know you? I've never seen you. I want to pray for you. God is turning your situation up. Please, as you are standing, let your heart be open. Your people may be far. Don't ever think. I'm just because I come outside like this to encourage you, to let you know that you must not make it inside. Anywhere. Are we together? The power of God is going to come upon you in loud shout. That will be personal prophesy to right now in just those outside here. It's not something you can stand. This is a sign and a wonder from the Spirit of God. That's not the shout. The shout is coming. It's a loud shout. Please bring the person when that happens. That's the shout. Bring the person. In the name of Jesus Christ. My friend, lift your hands. Jesus, come. Do you what are you doing? What do you do? Of God, your own church. You are assisting someone. You came here not just to receive a miracle for your mother, but you came to take fire. Stand up. Why you came? Listen to me. You are going to go back and you will step into a dimension of signs and wonders that will surprise you. Sarah, in the name that is above all names, every oppression over your family, I come against it right now. I'm still hearing that name, Godia. Who is that? Hold on, please. Hold on. Where are you from? Huh? You are from Kat Saminaka. Hold on, please. Your sister. Blood sister. Same father, same mother. You've been praying for God to locate you. It's okay. You. Hi. The spirit of death is over your family. Huh? I'm dreaming of it. What I'm saying. I'm seeing you dreaming and dreaming of dead people. They will come and they are calling you. Sometimes they are saying you should eat together. This is the spirit of death coming on the family. But in the name of Jesus, I use them as a point of contact. If there is anybody under the sound of my voice that the spirit of death is coming upon you. Help her. I cut spirit now. Name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a family. Money does not stay in your house. No matter what happens. Once resources enter. You love God. But resources. Something must happen. Either sickness. Or they will steal it. Or something will come up. I'm seeing what looks like a blue flame. And it's resting on at least five people. And the Lord is saying an end comes to financial hardship. Father, where are they? Right now, I stretch my hands. Let that anointing locate you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please lift your voice and begin to pray. My friend, lift your hands. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. An end comes now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please lift your voice and pray in the spirit, everyone. My dear, look at me. 
I command that spirit to leave you now. Of darkness must let you go in Jesus' name. Lift your voice and pray, everyone. Please pray. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Please pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit, everyone. Madam, help this woman so that she doesn't fall with it. I command everything that is not of God to let you go now. Release this woman's destiny now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oppression leaves right now. Someone here, there is a spirit that has oppressed your family. It must go now. I command that devil of darkness, help her please. That spirit must leave now. In the name of Jesus. Please everyone pray in the spirit. Everyone pray in the spirit. God is visiting us right now. One media person here, there is an anointing resting on someone. The Lord is bringing to end the captivity on your family. I'm seeing it by the Spirit of God. Captivity coming to an end. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, let it end now. By the Spirit of the living God. Let it end now in the name of Jesus. My friend, I'm seeing what, what looks like a towel on you. And the Lord is wiping away infirmity. In the name of Jesus. Infirmity. Let it go right now. Please make sure you are praying. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. The spirit of death. There is a family here. That spirit must go now. The spirit of death. Release them now. In the name of Jesus. Release them now. Release them now. The spirit of death. There will be no obituary. I command that devil to go now. Madam, excuse me. Madam, look at me. Come. Are you a man of God? Come. You too. Please come. I don't know you. Where are you coming from, sir? Where do you, what do you have to do with Adamawa? Is it Anambra? Huh? Who is from Anambra? Me. From Anambra State. You came all the way. Ah. There is a grace to see that God is going to be delivering to you. Number two, there is speed in ministry. That God, I don't know you, sir. I've not seen you. You're, you're together. You're a man of God, too. You're a man of God. You're a ministry. Can I pray for you, sir? Because I'm seeing this anointing, strange anointing come on you. You will go back and it's going to be fire all the way. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this man of God. Step into that grace in the name of Jesus. The anointing of the Holy Spirit, you will never be the same. Can I pray for you, sir? By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, drink of this wine, you will never be the same. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Mommy, let me pray for you. Hold on, please. Please stand up. Stand up. Who is Jennifer? Jennifer. 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 The Lord is visiting. The Jennifer I'm seeing, you are outside. You are holding a child. Jennifer. Jennifer. Is there someone like that? Oh, please oh, confirm. I, what's your name? They always confirm before you allow Jennifer. them. Jennifer. Is this your child? Yes, sir. Where are you coming from? From this is my state. Huh? From GRE. No, no. Where, where are you coming? Kaduna State. Kaduna State. I want to pray for you. So that the spirit that makes marriages to not work in your family will not catch up with you. Does it make sense what I'm saying? Yes, I want to pray for you. Well, this boy has a great destiny. Forget about whatever it is that has happened or not happened. I want to pray for you. The Lord located you to bless you. What's his name? Fortune. 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 I will pray for you. Mama, where are you coming from? I come from Togo. You came from Togo? Yes, just yesterday. Just yesterday? Yes. What are you trusting God for? Ah, my daughter in America. She's the one that sent me to you. She has been feeling in her dream. You have done so many things for her in the dream. Then she said that I must come so that show me you will locate her. She's asking for God's 
Just calm down, madam. You came all the way from Togo. Yes, sir. Let me tell you what God will do in your life. First, not even just your daughter. Eh? Leave your daughter's issue. God is going to bring your daughter, but it's you. First, that back pain. Eh? That back pain that you have. You get up in the morning and there's severe back pain. That back pain will leave you now. That's number one. Number two, the dead people you see in your dream. Eh? Sometimes you go to bed and you see dead people, people who have died. But they are alive talking to you. I need to pray for you. And then number three, God is going to visit your daughter. Tell her the month of August is a month of breakthrough. And in the name of Jesus, we pray right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Why are they here, please? You are a teacher. Did you apply for a job? Yes. Where? Because I'm seeing a letter and I'm seeing congratulations. It, hold on. Ah, you are a teacher. Where? With uh, KHMS. What is Dambo International? It's a school. Did you apply there? Yes. Like I'm seeing that they are going to give you a job. Huh? I will pray for you, sir. Because this teaching you are doing is only for a while. There is a grace of entrepreneurship upon you. And that grace is going to come and God will shift you to a dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. How many children do you have? One. Just one. I have one outside. No. Hold on. Don't be embarrassed there. Eh? I'm seeing one child. Then the vision changes and I'm seeing two again. Huh? You have one. You have two. What is the mystery? Explain. Before I married her, I have a son outside. Okay, before you married her, you have a child. The, yes, sir. Okay, I want to pray. Don't, don't make sure you treat the child with honor and grace. All the children that came out from you are great children. You understand? Please, don't fight that child, eh? Madam, you hear what I'm telling you? Yes. I know that we live in a, a society that sometimes all kinds of troubles can come, but may God grant you the grace to manage things well. Sir, there is a grace of wealth that is upon you. Please look at me. It looks like you are a teacher, but your destiny is not a teacher. You are a real kingdom financier, and there is a grace for finances that should come upon you. Please look at me. You see this woman? She's a good woman. Don't ever let the devil use the face of any devil and use her face. To make it look as if this is an evil woman. And don't let any prophet anywhere tell you this woman is a witch. In the name of Jesus, I tell you, God gave you a good woman. She's a good woman. Madam, you are a good woman. In the name of Jesus, let me pray for you, sir. Please hold my hands. In the name that is above all names, I open up every closed door over your life and destiny. I shift you to that realm of wealth. In Jesus' name. The person, look up, please. The person who comes to molest you when you sleep, it comes to an end now. In the name of Jesus, every fraternity with darkness is gone now and gone forever. In the name of Jesus. I don't know why, why are they here. Who is Sarah? Are you married? We are not more together. Huh? I have two children, but we are not together with you. You are Father. not together with your husband. Were you married? No. This is what I'm saying. Come. You need to be delivered, eh? If not, I'm seeing four children. You will add two more, and yet you are not married. I'm not. I hope you are not feeling bad. I hope you are not embarrassed. God reveals so that He can redeem, eh? You are not a bad woman. You are not an immoral woman. It's a spirit. You hear what I'm saying? Come, let me pray for you. The power of God is coming on one of you here. One of you standing here now. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is coming on one right now. It's not something you can resist. I'm, just, I'm seeing it in the Spirit that the power of God is going to come upon one of you. And when that happens, then I'm going to prophesy to that one person. Right now, it's an anointing from heaven that is coming upon one of you here. And the Lord is saying that he's taking away sickness from the midst of you. Taking away sickness. My dear, in the name of Jesus, is it the same man that has the children? Yes. Huh? Yes. Why doesn't he want to marry you? He didn't 
didn't pay for my dowry. He didn't pay for your dowry. Yes. Go and tell him that I said he should pay for your dowry. Huh? Dowry is not building project. He should pay for your dowry and give these children a chance. Please. At this level, it's no longer about their comfort. The children need a father. May God grant him grace and give him money to pay your dowry and be a good man in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing written in the air, polygamy. God is breaking that spirit now. No, no, no. Just please, just keep quiet. I'm ministering. There is a spirit of polygamy. Everybody in that family, you can't do with one man alone or one woman alone. That anointing is locating people right now to break the spirit. It's a covenant. It's not a desire. Coincidences continue to put themselves together to lead people to trouble. Right now, that spirit, please help them. In the name of Jesus, inside, outside, everywhere, the spirit of polygamy is being broken right now. The spirit of polygamy is being broken right now. Sir, let me pray for you. Where are you coming from, sir? Port Harcourt, what do you do? Do business. You do business. But things are not going well. Huh? If I don't pray for you, I'm seeing you in the court because of money, debt. Huh? I hope you're not embarrassed. You came here so that I pray for you. What are you trusting God for? I'm trusting God for breakthrough in my business. Breakthrough in your business. First, your. My wife, um, I've listened to your take for about seven days, and the last dream she has, you came to pray for her. I said, Sister, that you come. Through the night, I will pray for you more than business breakthrough, sir. Is your relationship with God? Do you understand? Please don't be embarrassed. But your relationship with God in this kingdom, we prosper as our souls prosper, not at the detriment of our soul. So that there's, there's too much spiritual distraction around your life. I pray that God will cause your heart to love Him more than money in the name of Jesus, and that in so doing, He will bless you and lift you. I decree and declare, I don't know why all of you came, but in the name of Jesus, I declare that everything that is not of God leaves you right now. Where is this lady from? Come, where are you from? I'm from Nesera State. You are from where? Nesera. How many are you? I'm from extended family. We are many. And you are plenty. Yes. You don't know how many. Yes, but oh. with my mother's side, we are eight. Two are gone. We are six now. Are you married? No. The man coming around your life. I drive him from your life now and forever. You hear what I'm saying? The man that I'm seeing, I drive him in the name of Jesus, the Son Amen. of the living God. You will go back and you'll be surprised. He will tell you there's no time. He cannot call you. He's busy. Just know that God drove him from your life to save you from trouble. Are you ready for a child now? So you have to be careful. Huh? I send him again in the name of Jesus Christ before he destroys your innocent life. What do you do? I'm Lenny Salomon. Huh? I'm Lenny Salomon. I'm not here. I'm Lenny Salomon. Hairdressing. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Come. Huh? I place favor on your life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. May the Lord help you. In the name of Jesus Christ. We're going to pray for the sick shortly, but the Lord is showing me a very serious vision. I'm looking at people, but I'm not seeing a face. And this is not the first time I see these kinds of vision. The moment I see these kind of things, is a sign that, you know, the devil has just tried to tarnish the glory of people. The Bible says to not let your good be evil spoken of. There, there is a way that you are good, but it's like people continue to misunderstand you. Right now, in the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands. I'm seeing an anointing coming on those people. That veil that covers your face. Always putting you in trouble. I tear off that veil now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Our time is gone. We have to be fast. Now please listen very carefully. God is touching everyone, every single one under the sound of my voice. Three things will happen right now. Number one, make sure you are here with your prayer request. If you are not here with it, please pen down. It's an act of faith very quickly. What you are trusting God for, lift it up. Let the ushers have it. Number two, we are going to minister to the sick right now. We will do it very, very fast. And then I will pray on it and we will prophesy 
open doors for everyone. We have to make this very, very fast. Are we together? While you are doing that, please be praying in the spirit. There are people here who are trusting God for themselves and their families. Please listen. Let's listen outside, inside. Let's listen to the instruction. Please. All those who are standing, trusting God for fruit of the womb, whether you are in overflow, one, two, three, I want to pray for you myself. Are we together? Particularly for those trusting God for the fruit of the womb. And, but then aside from that, um, overflow one, please listen, listen. From the start of overflow two, that means the end of CGC, and inside here, that's overflow two. Um, overflow 3 is from the end of CGC down to second equa. Okay, you are overflow 2B. Let's call it 2B. Are we together? Then the overflow from the beginning of this fence down, right down there. We'll call you overflow 2C. Please listen. Then there's overflow 3. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. This is the main auditorium. This is overflow 1. This is overflow two. Then from this place down to second equa is overflow two B. From that same place down is overflow two C. So that so that you would know if you are trusting God, no matter what overflow for the fruit of the womb, I'll pray for you. But then all who are in here, overflow one, I mean overflow here, please you are trusting God for healing. Come stand here. Overflow one, come and stand in front of your projector stand. Overflow two. Stand in front of your projector stand. Overflow 2A. Please create a space for them there. Overflow 2A. Create a space for them there. And then overflow 2C. Stand in front of your projector stand. And then overflow 3. You can stand in, um, in front of your projector stand. Those online connect by faith. And then we'll pray, we'll pray with you. We are going to do this very fast. We thank God there are many hands today. And while they minister to you, I would like you to believe God for a miracle. You are a man of God. You are a ministry here. Open up your heart and connect. You are trusting God for the grace for signs, wonders. Make sure that you connect. The worship team will be leading us through powerful sessions of worship while we do that. And concurrently, while that is happening, please make sure you submit your prayer request. Everyone, make sure you pen down your prayer request. And then we are going to pray on it and let the God of heaven... Visit us right now. In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Um, a Jimmy and Promise and Bishop Manasseh. A Jimmy and Promise and Bishop Manasseh will do overflow three. There are quite a number of people there. Overflow three. Um, Benga will do overflow two. Overflow two. Pastor Alpha. And Ima, you do overflow one. Um, overflow one. We need a way of reaching overflow. Kenny. Kenny will do overflow two B. Overflow two B. We'll do overflow two B. And then Isaac. Isaac in media. You do overflow two C. Let's make it that way. Praise the Lord. Father, we stand under this corporate grace and we decree and declare in the name of Jesus that as we minister to everyone across, let your healing power touch, deliver, set free in the name of Jesus. Do this and be glorified even by the power of the Holy Spirit. Please, we'll do it very, very fast. And while you are seated, make sure you are agreeing, releasing your faith in the name of Jesus. Madam, you lift, lift your hands. You, this woman. No. The one wearing blue and white. Yes. Lift your hand. I'm seeing oil coming on your head. And the Lord is saying he's taking away reproach and he's lifting you. This is what I'm seeing. An anointing is coming on you right now. And the Lord is saying he's taking away reproach. And he's bringing an oil of gladness upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Father, let there be miracles, signs, wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's stretch your hands to the prayer request.
Begin to pray in the spirit. Lord, you are the God that answers prayers. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus. Pray over these requests. He said, these Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more forever. There is a covenant of answered prayer in this place. Lift your voice and pray. Father, I decree and I declare. I prophesy, I proclaim by the Spirit of grace that this is a representation of the pain of people, a representation of their hunger. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, are you praying? Decree and declare that everything written here in the name of Jesus will become a testimony. Everything written here, we invoke the power of the Holy Ghost upon every request here. Supernatural deliveries, terminations of delay, open doors, new spiritual dimensions in the name of Jesus, admissions, graduations, jobs, marriages, children, restoration, advancement, promotion in the name that is above all names we decree and declare. Make sure you are praying. Make your declaration. These that are brought before the God of all flesh will never, never, never return as a disappointment. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. Those online joining us from all over the world, connect in the name of Jesus. From America to Asia, the UK, Canada, everywhere, we decree and declare that your requests are turned into testimonies. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Listen, I want you to understand that this is not a ritual. This is a mystery. Are we together now? There are all kinds of testimonies that have come in. I can prophesy and there is so much. I can be limited. I cannot discern everybody's expectation. But this is a representation of your hunger. It's a representation of your tears. And let me tell you this. Please don't get familiar with this. This is not some, some spiritual thing just for the fun of it. There is power in what we are doing. It's guided by understanding. It's guided by an anointing. And God has a covenant. He's protected by his jealousy. In the name of Jesus Paul said, for this cause, I, Paul, bow my knees before the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, that he may grant unto you. In the name of Jesus, I declare upon you that the Egyptians you see today, that you will see them no more forever. In the name of Jesus, every request here that is a death sentence, cancer, HIV, and any kind of incurable disease, we turn it around right now. Hello God's favorite. Thank you for staying up to the end of this video. We believe you were truly blessed by this message from God's servant Apostle Joshua Salman. I would encourage that we go back on this message to meditate over and over again for a better understanding. I want us to meditate on the word. I want us to stay with the word. If you were distracted maybe while watching this video, I want you to go back again and watch it for a better understanding. And I pray that as we do that, the Lord will open our eyes and open our understanding in Jesus' name. Amen. If you are just coming across Reflector Hub TV for the first time, welcome. We are glad to have you here and we will be glad to have you be part of us. How would that be possible? Just hit on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell so all of the videos that we posted here on Reflector Hub TV, you will be notified about them. Don't forget to drop your comments in the comment section. The comment section is always, always open. Your prayer requests, your thoughts. They are always, always welcome. Just drop into the comment section and we will attend to them. And as you do that, the Lord Almighty will bless you in Jesus' name. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to share. Share with a friend. Share with a family member. Share with your loved one. Share with your enemies. Yes, they are not to be left out of God's goodness. Share with them. And as you do that, the Lord Almighty will bless us all in Jesus name and I want to bring a little reminder to us that we should have a heart of thanksgiving and to praise God for his unending goodness and love 
most of the times we end, we complain too much forgetting the goodness of God that God has done in our life and for the good things he has been doing I want to encourage that we do more of thanksgiving and less of complaining no matter what you're facing choose to make gratitude your response when challenges arise remember that God's faithfulness has been proven through every generation and he is faithful still this new month of November, I want us to look for his fingerprints in every moment, seeing his goodness all around us. And I pray that we'll find strength in thanksgiving and experience a deeper joy that goes beyond circumstance. I want us to go forward holding on to gratitude and knowing that his love for us is forever. I want us to put this in heart. I want us to do more of thanksgiving in this new month of November and less of complaint and then I pray that as we do that the Lord Almighty will open our eyes that there's more to giving thanks more of giving gratitude than of complaining and I pray that as we do that the Lord Almighty will bless us in Jesus name thank you so much and see you in the next video